All right, so in this problem, uh, we have a pot of tea that's cooling, and the temperature of the tea is modeled by this differentiable function, h, over the interval from 0 to 10 minutes. And temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. And this table shows selected values of t over that interval. So at t is 0, the temperature is 66. When t was 2, the temperature is 60, 60, and so forth. So our goal is to explain the meaning of this integral, one tenth times the integral from zero to 10 of h of t dt in the context of this problem. And we're gonna to have to use this trapezoidal sum with the four subintervals shown by this table to estimate this. Okay, so um, let's just first draw like a picture of this graphically to see how the geometry works. So we have t and h, so we're gonna horizontal axis be time, vertical axis I'll be h, and we're going to have 0, and I will say that's 2, say that's 5, call that a 9, and we'll call that a 10, and it's 0, at 0 it's 60, so we have a point zero sixty there, and a 2, or not 0, 60, 0, 66, at 2, the, the height is 60. So 2, 60, where the temperature is 60. At 5, temperature is 52 degrees. And at 9, the temperature is 44 degrees. And at 10, the temperature is 43. Okay, so ideally, you know, we would like to have a, a function or that we could just directly integrate, but we don't have like a, you know, an expression for the function h of t. So we're going to just take an estimate of this integral by, use, by, by using the trapezoidal sum property where we're going to break this into one, two, three, four trapezoids. So since this is differentiable, we're going to Assume that these points, you know, can be connected so it's continuous and assuming there's no strange behavior between, you know, each of those points it would probably be, be something like this. So as you can see, you're breaking this up into four parts. We have this part, this part, this part, A1, A2, A3, and A4. So we could write that the integral from 0 to 10 of H of T dt is approximately equal to these four these four areas a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 and so we just simply have to find the the area of each of those now um these are essentially just trapezoids so let's that's um that's like let me actually do this so remember a trapezoid You know, can look like this: a four-sided figure where the two where the two sides we call them bases are parallel. We'll call that B1. We'll call that B2. And this will be our height. And the area of a trapezoid, the area is the average of the bases times the height. So it's going to be B1 plus B2 times the height all over two and these are just trapezoids just on their side like if we look at this this is the h just think of this this is the h this is the height and this is one of the bases and this is the other base we can put it we can look at it like this that we can call that b1 we can call that b2 it's amazing so you're just finding the areas of these four figures using the trapezoidal formula, treating the sides or the heights as the bases. So that's all we're going to do. So for A1, we're going to have, let me break this up, we're going to have that this will equal, so B1 plus B2, B1 is going to be this side, B2 will be this side, this is at 66, so we're going to have 66 
plus 60 over 2. And our height is just 2 in this case. So height is 2. That will be our A1. Now in, um, in A2, our height is 3. 2, our height is 3 there. And in A3, our height is 4. four. And our A4, our height is 1. So that's really what's going to change. Well, obviously, well, the sides are going to change, change as well, but you have to make sure you recognize this is not uniform. Um, these are not uniform intervals where they're all the same width. So A2 will be this side, it will be 60, plus this length, 52, divided by 2, multiplied by that 3. And then A3 will be this side, 52, plus this side length, which will be 44, divided by 2, multiplied by that height, which is 4. And then our last trapezoid will have a height of 44, and or not a height, but our base is, I guess, when you're looking at this sideways, 44 and 43. So 44 plus 43 over 2, and our height in this case is just 1. But now it just becomes an issue, a an, matter of just simple. Simple algebra. So let's go ahead and make sure I don't make a mistake here. So 6 plus 1, 26, 60 plus 1, 52, divided by 2 times 3. Oops. 168, 52 plus 44, divided by 2 times 4, 192, and 43, 43.5. Add those, the 126 plus 168 plus 192 plus 43.5, we have 5. 29.5. All right, let's be careful now because this is the area of, of these four trapezoids. The problem is actually asking for one tenth times that area. So we're going to multiply what we got here by one tenth because that's what our integral is. So we're going to have one tenth times 529.5. 52.95. Okay, so now what does this mean in the context of this problem? Well, since the function or this line here is representing the, the temperature of this, of this um, pot of tea, it's cooling down. If you notice, we're dividing by 10 and the interval is 10 minutes long. So since we're dividing by 10 over a 10 minute interval, you're just, you're just finding the average temperature. So this value just represents the average temperature of the T over that interval. So we can say that the integral one over 10 from zero to 10, H of T dT. represents the average temperature in degrees Celsius of the pot of tea over the interval T is 0 to 10. So it's just saying that, that the temperature of the tea was 52.95 degrees Celsius on average.